Hello, this is an assessment of a Model 3 Beckstein Grand, about 7 foot 9 long and uh, made in 90, 1897 we think. I'm just zeroing in on, uh, trying to think about what work would improve the piano and there's one aspect to it which is really quite interesting to say the least, it's I've never come across. So if you're a subscriber and come across it before then please let me know. There's some Replace key tops, these are the cheapest that you can get with the letters run written on the back of them and uh, one or two of them out of place. I don't know if you pick that up on the video, but anyway, uh, they're reasonably well done apart from that. This is the typical old logo for the Beckstein. Now the first way of saying we've said many times in videos that you look at the wear on the pedals and this right hand pedal's very worn as you'd expect really from a, a sort of semi-concert sized piano. And it's not uncommon to find Beckstein pedals like that. Very low down, uh, which is uh, useful, as we mentioned before, if you want to raise the piano up a bit, you can put caster cups up under it without any problem, and the pedals won't be too high. So just coming back up, the music stand, obviously, it's lost its felt here, which is just cosmetic. But I think mainly we're going to try and look at see how we can improve the regulation on the piano. Um, because in this case, the client doesn't really want to pay for a full rebuild, which it would be wonderful if it was fully rebuilt, but um, obviously expensive job. And rebuilds on this model of piano, we've done them before, and they, they do turn out wonderful. It is an excellent instrument altogether. Um, so looking at the soundboard, there's no evidence of that having, unless, unless they replace the decal as well, they haven't actually, um, you know, uh, mastered off so that you can, reshim the soundboard around it. So whether that has never been done, uh, there are obviously some lines opening up here, but there's no no light to be seen through them. And listening to the tone of the piano, it's roughly what you'd expect. So the soundboard, obviously if we redid re the whole piano, we'd shim the soundboard too. Looking at the strings here, um, yes, it's quite common. They're put on at very high tension, so near the breaking point. And if you pitch raise, these pianos then this is what happens normally or sometimes can happen in tuning but um, that's obviously had a few replaced and some there was one particular one at the other end that one there at the other end is very short so it sounds very very different um, so let's just have a look at the action which is the main thing we're going to try and work on cosmetically this piano is obviously in need of repolishing but uh, as I say the client's more interested in having a good instrument now before we look at the action, as I've said many times, the tightness of tuning pins and the client that's actually tuning his own piano has got his own lever. So um, these are original, I think. They're quite loose, as we said before, that's an indicator of being original. These are tight, these are a bit la larger. Um, obviously here, if you change the string, you want to put a larger pin in, ideally, because the small, because uh, you're, you're obviously opening up the hole when you take it down and up again. So. Uh, you want a larger pin, uh, so some of them have got larger pins in. And uh, I talked about this string here, see that that's far too short and the tone of it therefore, let's listen to a few bass strings. It's thin and that one also is too short, but it's, it's got a nice throaty bass to it and some of these replacements are nicely done as well. You can see the end of them are different. That's the original Beckstein style, I think. Um, and that's uh, a coned string which is from a good good string maker. Then if we look here, we haven't got any broken strings. Let's listen to the tone here. Let's listen to the break point. That's not... Well, Beckstein break points don't, don't tend to be incredibly good at that point. Damping's a bit, a bit of variety there. So it needs, needs improving. around this area where you often get quite a harsh tone on the older pianos. So if you, you could um, get more down bearing by um, recapping the bridge and putting it slightly higher, it's commonly done. Well, there's other ways of increasing down bearing of course. New string there but seems to be quite well matched but up here the hammers are rather weak. There's one string missing there um, and I don't think we can do much about that. We'll look at the hammers in a minute. And you see several strings have been replaced in the past as well. 
There's actually a frame crack on this piano too, where you normally get them on Beckstein. Um, we talked before about that, how if, you, if we fully restore the piano, then obviously we're going to repair that as well. Um, but it's not doing any harm in terms of, uh, as you, if you, a technician would like to comment on that, but that's not really, I've never really known any problem with those, but obviously if you fully restore them, you will repair them. Now there's something very unusual in this action, at least I've never seen it before. And if you're a subscriber or watching this video and would like to comment, we would be really grateful if you've seen it before. Uh, and if you can spot it already. Um, but look at this lever. Now you see this is wood. And here we have a, a flap that lifts up as it were. Flap, not really a flap, but like a flap lifting up. So the jack, sorry, the focus isn't quite, that's better. Um, the jack's pulling out in a normal way, but has this addition on top here. Just stay, let's linger on it a bit so you can see. And that, the wood is on this part and the felt's on that part. So they obviously thought at one stage that's going to work better. And you can see perhaps why, if I push it backwards and forwards, um, that it won't wear, won't be so wearing as rollers tend to wear. I've never seen it. And maybe it just us. Maybe I should have seen many of them before. We've done plenty of Becksteins, but I've never seen that. And if you have seen it and got any comments, it appears the springs seem, don't seem to, I don't know how you regulate the springs on these properly to push it up, but um, it doesn't spring up in a normal way. So I'd love to get comments on that. As I say, we've done many, many uh, hundreds, literally, of Becksteins, I think, or over a hundred probably is more more honest and more realistic, but um, we haven't seen that before at all. So this is on a flap here. Now I'd love to be able to know how you would regulate these. Obviously we'd work it out, but as we're not doing these all the time, it's gonna take longer, I'm sure, to do the regulation. I think in this case, we could certainly, a day's regulation on this piano is going to improve it enormously anyway. These are, these are replaced hammers, as you can see, um, mahogany based and the felt here. The client has done some voicing already. Um, they, they're very, they're still quite uneven. So I think we could even the tone up a lot. But in the top treble is too soft. So there's only one way of improving that really. And I think we'd have to change the hammers. I'm not so sure that we can really get as strong as we want it to be up there. Around here the tone's quite pleasant, but just quite varied really. And again, I, when you voice hammers, you voice them down before they come onto the piano in the press. Uh, you're going to voice, sorry, I mean when we, they, in the packet, take them out the packet, put them in a vice all together, and then you can voice down here quite deep and then less deep as you go up on the shoulders certainly. And then the tips just maybe very, very gen gingerly. Um, up to about 1.5 millimetres. So I'm lingering on this really to try to get more opinion on, on that system. And uh, certainly I'm pretty sure we haven't done one of those before. The, the pins here are tight, which is encouraging. Um, so there's some thoughts and very difficult to decide what to do. Obviously some of these are very low, but I think that's just the rocker screws. Obviously doing rocker screws is much more time consuming or for us is seems to take more time and if you maybe if you're used to them you can give some tips on how to do them quicker but there are no capstans here uh, we we replace these when we do full restoration so that we put normal capstans on so that's an assessment of a Beckstein model 3 grand piano seven foot nine inches long and made in about 1897 and we've fully restored these before and they do turn into wonderful pianos Not only do they have a good bass, but as you can hear, they sing well. There's quite a variety in the hammers here. And in this case, the client would like the sort of improvement made, particularly to regulation and, and voicing too, I think. But there's certain aspects which I, I don't know how we're going to work on it. The action itself, and if you're a subscriber and have uh, had a good look at that, maybe you've experienced it already, the style of action. Very interesting, very, uh, very innovative, really. 
and I'm sure it can be regulated very beautifully. So I'd love to comments on that so that we can make sure we do a good job. Well, it should have a lot more power up here and it hasn't got the power in the treble that you, you'd expect it to have. I really don't think we'll be able to do much improvement on that without actually replacing the hammers unfortunately. Uh, the, ha the set of hammers is not a bad set, it's just that I think up here it needs, needs, they need to be, when they put on the press really tight, they need to be a bit tighter and then they can be voiced from that. So I'm not really sure what we can do with that top treble. But there's a bit of variety here around the break point. Um, but what you'd roughly expect from a Beckstein. And the underlying sound of this voicing as uh, we've done recently similar size Beckstein and it can be so they're such beautiful pianos the regulation is making it very very hard to play quietly and evenly so certainly um, there's some basically set offs and all the regulations just need, needs tidying up really um, key dips do great as you can see on many of these so difficult problem to solve as to what would be the best thing to do without spending a huge length of time because the client doesn't really want to that it's to his to pay for a full restoration or or even replacing the hammers which is expensive so see what we can do to improve the piano for him thank you very much for listening